Hi, I'm Brad Parker with Monero Marine. Here we build boats, fiberglass boats, uh, up to 30 feet in length. They are semi-custom. And I thought I'd just start a new video because I can see what we're doing a new project here. What we have is a... We're going to do a 25 and a half foot boat. But we don't have a hull for a 25 and a half foot boat. We have a hull for a 24 foot boat. So instead of creating a whole new mold for a 25 and a half foot boat, we have created a mold to extend our existing hull. So we've actually been doing this for almost, oh, 20 years now. Uh, but I thought I'd put it to video to show you guys how we do it so when we lay up a hull for a 25 and a half we don't need the extra reinforcement in the transom because as you see we're gonna cut it out so we have one layer of three-quarter inch plywood at the top here but the strength we need is back here so when we laid this up, we've actually got uh, three layers of three quarter inch plywood. This boat is going to have twin 150 horse Yamaha outboards on it. So depending on the kind of power it has, uh, the thickness of the plywood will vary. So when you have outboards, you need a little more strength. So. Right now, we're just getting ready to join this piece to this piece. So the first step is, well, when we do our stringers, you can't see, but uh, uh, when it's rigidly laid up, the stringers go right to the transom. But when we get it here, we chop out the ends of the stringers, so they're clear of, of here. You can almost see them through here. You can see the stringers there. Uh, so, what uh, Hector's done is he's put, uh, screwed some straight edges to the bottom of the boat, because we want to keep the bottom fair between the two pieces. Now how this piece is designed, it has a flange on the end that will actually sit on top in here. So we fit it all nicely and it will get pasted. This flange here is going to get pasted onto here and then glassed all around. We've only cut enough just to do our work for now. But eventually it will be cut much higher. Uh, there's a line here. It looks like it will be cut right here all the way across. So it's, it's all fit now. And he's just cleaning it up, getting ready to mount it permanently. So you can see the, the flange here. So that's going to sit right on top of the hull here. And you can see it's all cut. Uh, this is his final cut on top uh, so this this will all stay open this this will remain in place and he's trimmed it all the way to the edge of the hull side so he's just putting on some tape so he uh, keeps a clean edge here's the mold for the hull extension we use orange tooling gel which is a special gel to be used for molds it's it's a higher quality gel. So all our molds are orange. And you can see the, the flange right here goes across. Uh, it's all covered in plastic because it's we got all cleaned up, ready to lay up another hull, which we'll be doing shortly. So they got the hull now pasted in place and they're doing their first layer of fiberglass at the joint. They'll do two more uh, layers, each getting progressively wider, so it's tapered and doesn't create a, a large bump in the, 
increases the strength. Uh, we'll be away next week, so just wanted to get this last video in and hopefully they have it all done. But the next step after they do the glassing here is uh, they'll be glassing the sides. This will be glassed uh, and then they'll have to finish underneath. There's a few holes through the bottom from uh, screwing the, the straight edge on just to keep the, the hulls lined up and fared nicely. So they'll take that off and they will fill the holes so the boat doesn't sink. And so I was off for a week and they've got most of it done now. So where we left off was uh, it was pasted in place and, and, the, and the first layer was glass. Uh, so n the next step, they finished glassing. There was a few more layers in there. Uh, and then they put pasted and, gl and glassed the corner in place. They had to make sure everything was at the right position. And, uh, and then they, they, they ground a, a radius on the inside and the wrapped glass in here. So it's totally tight sealed will never leak or crack. And you can see the, the, the step versus uh, connecting it to right flush with the edge. Uh, the reason we did this uh, was it's just a lot easier to make the joint and, and finish it here versus here, here where you have to uh, do a lot more fairing and performance wise there's no difference so inside you can see this is the original hull uh, transom and you can see where we've cut it cut it out and here are the the uh, stringers that have been extended so the original stringers ended here uh, and then we uh, we actually when we laid this hull up, we made them to sit right against this hull, and then we we cut the pieces and just repaste them, paste them back together to make them easily removable. So that keeps the integrity of the hull structure until we're ready to do the extension so when we cut the hull out we, we uh, knock these pieces out uh, and then uh, so these are the new pieces that extend all the way to the new transom so everything is just lined up and uh, pasted you can see the green paste uh, and then they uh, glass them they tab on each side and uh, once we're happy with the height, then the whole thing will get uh, capped over with fiberglass. Underneath the hull, you can see the aluminum braces are still in place. They uh, will be removed and then there'll be holes left over from the screws. So we just have to make sure we glass over all the, the holes uh, so our boat doesn't sink. Uh, and then uh, the joint underneath will be all fared. We'll glass, we glass the joint and fare it on the outside. Uh, and that is essentially the end of the, the hull extension. So what you'll see in improvements over this length versus this extension, the boat will track better it'll get up on plane easier uh, the boat can hold more weight inside uh, it'll ride a little flatter uh, so that's uh, quite a few improvements uh, but uh, definitely not uh, a, a, a small task to do thanks for watching